This video will first give an overview of the online oscillation detection and analysis tool based on the OpenPDC platform. We will then discuss oscillation analysis test case 1, followed by a brief demo of the online oscillation monitor and a quick oscillation event replay. The phase angle data are used for oscillation detection and analysis. The oscillation analysis module calculates amplitude, oscillation frequency, damping ratio, and generates plots. Automatic oscillation reports will be sent to subscribers through email. There are two stages for the FNAT oscillation detection. The first stage is data preprocessing. Phase angle unwrapping and relative angle calculation will be performed. The second stage is oscillation detection and confirmation. First, the program calculates the absolute angle change within the first time window for each device. If it is over a certain threshold, detection is triggered. The program will proceed to calculate the maximum and minimum angle value over the second time window. If this difference is over a certain threshold in multiple units, the oscillation is confirmed. Online oscillation analysis uses the matrix pencil algorithm for its robustness to noise. Oscillation amplitude, frequency, damping ratio, and mode shape are calculated. Oscillation plots will be generated. The oscillation subscriber in this video receives the alert emails on his smart device. By clicking on the notification link provided in the email alert, the subscriber can view the oscillation report. Here is an example of the oscillation report. Since the online application sits on the OpenPDC platform, it is convenient to use either FNET or PMU data as input. In the second section, we will discuss the results of the oscillation analysis test case. For test case 1, there are five ring down events in the 10 minute data. The matrix pencil method is used to estimate the oscillation frequency and damping ratio. This method uses singular value decomposition to provide an effective way to filter noise. Here is the analysis result. The frequency and damping ratio of the 0.23 Hz and 0.38 Hz modes are similar for the five events. The 0.65 Hz mode differs a bit for the five events. The 0.12 Hz mode was seen mostly in events A and E. Here are the frequency and relative angle plots of event C. For the relative angle plot, the south signal is used as the reference. This section demonstrates the online continuous oscillation monitor. The web display shows real-time oscillation frequency and damping ratio using ambient data. The display is refreshed every second. The user can select interconnection from the drop-down menu. In addition to real-time applications, we have also developed an event replay tool to generate oscillation event movies using synchrophaser data. On April 27, 2011, severe storms and tornadoes moved through the southeast, knocking out 11 of the 500 kV transmission lines. This video shows the oscillation caused by the line trips. In conclusion, our video provides analysis results of the oscillation test case 1. The two dominant frequencies for the five events are around 0.38 Hz and 0.24 Hz. The damping ratio seemed to be lower after event C. Thank you very much for watching. In this video, we introduced several oscillation applications. You are welcome to check out more information on our website and YouTube channel.